Hello guys, Furu here. Welcome to today's presentation. So guys, in today's presentation, we're going to dive in and provide some definitions for some really interesting terms that you might have come across. So POC, prototype, pilot, production, what are all of this? What do they mean? Are they interchangeable? When and where should you use them? Or when and where do people typically use them? Uh, these are things that, you know, uh, people have questions about. And we're going to go in, uh, do some definitions. Uh, with some examples of course so we can clarify uh, any uh, confusion we might have with these terms now uh, typically uh, you come across this if you build products you buy products or you sell products all right people typically would want to uh, some would want to do a poc some might just want to do um, a prototype some might want to do a pilot and then some people would want to just install it and run it in your productions now there are more things that we could do uh, in here, we can even add a demo. All right. All right. So we can even add a demonstration. So demonstration versus a POC versus a prototype, pilot, production. What does all of this mean? Now, let's start with a demonstration. So what is a demonstration? The very first one, demo. A demonstration. And we're going to use the example of you going into a car dealership to buy a new, a brand new car. All right, your old car is kind of uh, getting worn out. You need a new car. And so you go to the local dealership and you want to purchase a new car. Now, a demo could be you walk in there and the sales guy, some smart, uh, slick talking sales guy that greets you on the doorway and is charming and, you know, wants to make you buy the car or talk you into buying the car. Uh, maybe it tells you, uh, all right, this car has four wheel. It has this so and so bed. It has so and so a dimension. And then maybe they even get in there and just uh, start the car. You kind of listen to it, uh, hear how the the engine sounds and all of that. All right, uh, you kind of but the car is still just there, right? But you can hear the engine sound. They open the door. You, the, you can get the smell. You sit in there. You kind of feel how comfortable it is and all of that basically what you what you're doing at that point is basically a demo all right so very short demonstration but it's just the whole idea of just showing the product all right so a demo is just meant to show the product at a very high level right sometimes um they might customize the demo a little bit where uh, instead of just showing you the car they might uh maybe uh want to show you the car um you know, on, on an incline, on like, like on an incline, if you're talking about cars that might want to go off-road. So they might do something like that. So, but basically it's still just showing you the product, not a whole lot to it. That's what the demonstration is about. All right. Now, the second piece is a, a POC. And this basically is a proof of concept. All right. So if you see a demonstration and you say to yourself, huh, this car kind of looks interesting, you know, and most of us are both cars. So we've been through all of this. This car kind of looks interesting. Uh, I, I just want to really be sure that uh, uh, this car uh, would would be it would be interesting to me. All right. Now you can ask for a proof of concept. I'm gonna use this car analogy, and then we'll tie it into software analogy. So uh, let's just hang in there. Uh, so you uh, look at the car, and you kind of realize that you really can are interested in it. So you ask for a POC, and uh, with the POC. Uh, you, you think about it as a test drive, right? If you're thinking about the car, uh, you're thinking about, so here will be like a showroom, all right? So this is kind of like you're going on a test drive, all right? You and the, the car uh, salesperson, you jump into the car and you all are going on the test, a test drive down the road, not too far from the building. All right, so that's basically what the POC uh, would be, a proof of concept. You're kind of just proving that, yeah, not only am I just seeing this car, but I can actually uh, test drive it. Just bear with me to get this correct. All right, I can actually test drive it, and it feels like, all right, this is a car that uh, is okay for me. All right, now, uh, after the, the POC, if you still really like it, all right, you might say, all right, let's take this a little bit uh, further uh, into uh, the prototype. All right, and if, you, if we're working with the analogy of the car here, 
a prototype might might be uh you saying okay all right and some dealerships do this right so just so we know uh you might say all right i'm gonna take this car home uh um for the night and i'll bring it back the next day i'll just test it uh and feel how i can take my kids in that car to, to their soccer game and back or to their hockey game and back all right so this is kind of short uh so you say overnight test drive as an example but the whole idea here is uh the test drive was kind of guided you probably had the the driver sitting with you in there and such but the product but the prototype is different from that because yeah you're still getting your hands on the on the car but you're taking it to your own environment right you're taking it to your own house you're parking it in your own garage um you maybe put some things in there that are your own like your kids if you have kids that go to hockey and you know that usually that's troublesome and you want to ensure that their skis or or their hockey you know whatever they use for hockey uh can fit in the car sure you that's a good scenario that you want to test that that car would work for it so you take it home and you put it in there uh you test it around make sure it fits all right and then um and then if it, if it works the next day you can come back to the dealership and and you feel good so this is really what the prototype would be uh and not not very long right so if you're thinking about this let's put some times here all right so if you're thinking about your showroom like this first case of a demo you're usually looking about like hours right this is not a long process you go to the dealership you spend some hours you know maybe a day or so not too long time you don't expect to spend a lot of time all right now when we talk about uh, this poc the proof of concept you're usually talking about maybe days or weeks right for this again you don't want this to be too long right there might be a couple of days where you bring you you, uh, you come in you test drive the car and such all right and then when you talk about prototype you're definitely talking maybe about weeks or so all right now if you like the prototype and it doesn't all have to be in chronological order you might say all right i'm gonna go ahead and do a pilot right of this car and with the pilot of that car what you might want to do in this case is to um take the car you of course you still have the car home all right but you want to put it through more paces right so instead of just that limited use case of going to hockey right or ski you might say all right i really want to test how uh, i'm going to take this car on vacation right on road trips right and some maybe family uh picnic right some of those kind of scenarios that you kind of worry that you really need the car um um uh, for that you really need the car to perform for and you want to test that to say would this car really work for this specific scenario that belongs to me that me and only me uh, have it and so you can kind of put it through some of the paces to make sure that it it, it it you know it fits that and of course you can see that clearly well you don't have road trips you know in the days right usually you plan that out for a while so you might be talking here about uh, months right if your car dealership allows you to do it you might be talking about months now of course any reasonable car dealership is not going to give you a car to just keep for months and months and months because i mean how are they gonna make money you using the car putting mileage on it and they're not making any money for months that's not going to be uh, a very good uh, business <clears throat> arrangement so uh, in here you might want to pay all right so usually you have a paid pilot you might want to pay some money uh for your time of using the car right or maybe lease the car out for that period where you at least the, the, the company is making money if you come back after three months five months and say you know what i this whole idea is not gonna work for me because um i felt that going on vacation was just too much of a hassle i don't want to continue with this anymore you can stop it and but you've paid so the the, the dealership is not in too much loss all right and then after all of this if it's all good then you can take it to production you can say all right i'm gonna write that check or i'm gonna sign that contract and you know take the car home that's when you you take the car home and ownership is transferred all right and and then and then ownership you take the car home and then ownership is transferred 
all right so the car now belongs to you you own that car and in the in the way of the software world that car is in production all right guys so this is uh, basically what the difference is between demonstrations pocs prototypes pilot and production will look like uh in the in the analogy we've used here for cars now if you want to translate this into into um if you want to translate this into software all right if you're trying to buy software because on this channel we talk a lot about technology or you're selling software and you have to do some evaluations of it uh, you might go through the same similar processes right where you study with your poc all right and then you might talk about your prototype you might talk about your, your pilot and then production and of course the amount of effort right that or, or time that is needed is increasing on this side and then uh the the scope on this side is also increasing all right so um here 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 is your poc um so this is your poc this is your prototype this is your pilot and then this is your production and then somewhere here you have a demo all right demo is just kind of small all right so as you're going higher you see that uh, that scope is increasing so this might take just an hour all right this might take maybe a day or so this might take days weeks this might take weeks months and then this might take months and believe it or not two years all right and so uh, that's basically uh, what you'll be doing to uh, evaluate your product just using this very simple uh, analogy that we have of buying a car all right guys so there you have it uh poc versus pilot versus prototype versus production versus demo versus mvp versus i mean mvp is a, a little bit of a different thing uh, but you can somehow fit it somewhere in here. Uh, but you're basically going through a series of steps to test a product before you make that investment. You know, if I'm going to buy a car and I use the idea of a car, because at some point most of us go through that process of buying a car, and the steps that you go through, if you just kind of extrapolate that, that's, those are the steps that people who buy software or who sell software uh, have to go through to ensure that uh, uh, they validate the product. Uh, efficiently uh, effectively um, and have some trust uh, when they eventually make that decision all right guys so hopefully this was helpful uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to let me know uh, leave them in the comment section below uh, and I'll see what I can do all right thanks for watching this has been through I'll see you in the next presentation